Hey guys, Rashad here. Common thing I see sometimes is people giving up too early. Uh, not singing as a whole, but uh, giving up on particular parts of singing. So say something is really difficult, say you try it, and then it's hard and you don't get it in the first two goes, three goes. I've seen some people that are occasionally might train. Maybe they didn't come for lessons, maybe they're just um, people that I knew that are friends and they're like trying something, they're like, oh, try this, or you know, I'll be like, try this. And um, sometimes they might try it two or three times, not get it, and then feel like, oh, it's too hard for me. I'm not, I can't do that. I'm not supposed to do that. And then I'll kind of try to, so this is a little video to try to kind of explain, don't get stuck at that point. That's a good point for you to see that, okay, if you can't do it immediately in the two or three goes, you literally spent 30 seconds trying to do it. So I want you to think about it. Now reframe your perspective of how long it takes to learn something. Instead of two or three goes, which you might have been used to getting certain parts of songs easily, you know, it might take you two, three goes, you get them, and you might be used to that. But then when it comes to a new part of a song that's particularly difficult, if you can't hit that high note, or you can't um, go, like you, your voice will crack on a particular thing, or you you can't remember a particular thing, you just forget it, or you do it and it doesn't sound right because you're going off pitch, or it's too long and it's too hard to remember because it's too long, you just can't actually hear what it's doing, so you can't even really try it properly because you're like, I don't even know what to do, I feel lost. If you're feeling any of these feelings, just know that it will take more than 30 seconds to get it. <laughs> and you need a strategy to get it. So I can't just tell you keep trying it for like 10 minutes and then you'll get it because it might not happen. You might try it for 10 minutes and great, that's one step forward because you're being persistent and you're trying it more times, spending more time trying, more likely to get it. But another thing is, you might have to change your strategy. So instead of just trying to copy it as it is, you might need to um, break it down. You might need to chunk it, they call it chunking. That means, let's say you're working on a passage that's got seven, no seven notes, <laughs> seven notes. Uh, what you could do is chunk it into four notes and then three notes, depending on the, the particular phrase you're learning. It might have a rhythm that goes like that. Or if it's seven notes, you could literally chunk it one note at a time. So you could be like one note, Let's try to get that, we'll get that, we'll do like four reps on that, Get it. do it a few times to make sure it's really clear, and then get the next note, okay? And then get the next note individually, and then you can combine. So you could start from note one again, okay, now I'm gonna go note one plus note two, note one plus note two plus note three. Once I get that, do three, three reps maybe, two or three reps or four reps, then I'll go note one plus two plus three plus four, all the way until you get to seven. You can simplify this process depending on how hard the phrase is. You might not need to go through every single step. You might just go, you might just go two notes at a time and then just combine all those sections. You know, you could be like, I'll do four notes and three notes and I'm gonna combine four plus three, I'm good. But if it's too hard, then you can break the one note at a time strategy. Why is it not focusing? The one note at a time strategy is so that that's like the easiest, not the easiest, but uh, it's the furthest breakdown that you can possibly do. I don't know why it's, not focusing, strange. That's the furthest possible breakdown that you can do. And uh, that's the one you go to if it, if everything gets, if it's still too hard and you're still struggling, you can always go to that and do that. You know, if you need the help of a teacher, of course, come see me and I can help you. It's, so my main point is that, and sometimes I experience this where I even, I'll break it down for someone, for a student or for a friend or whatever, whatever it might be. Let's say it's just a phrase with four notes or something, or like seven notes, like um, go, Let's say, what's an example? Um, I'll make love to you. Let's say it's just that. I'll make love to you. I'll make love to you. It's seven notes, yeah, what I guess. So you could just be, I'll, I'll make, I'll make. And you can extend the notes that are hard. Now, sometimes I'll break it down and people won't get it quickly, like in two or three goes, and then they'll feel discouraged. Oh, I'm not getting it. I kind of want to quit. I kind of want to stop. Let's do something easier. Oh, I just want to stop. I don't know what to do. I'm having a bit of anxiety, a bit of a panic. So you sort of like, let's get rid of that mentality, right? And let's swap it with the mentality. Okay, so we got strategy. We can break it down into, we can chunk it into little bits and, and we can slow it down. 
okay there's no rush second step we can take our time to do it okay let's spend five minutes on it it's okay not just 20 seconds 30 seconds let's spend five whole minutes on i'll make love to you it's okay let's spend five minutes it's one line it doesn't matter if you spend five minutes get that line perfect let's say you spend five minutes get the next line perfect within a couple of hours you've trained that song to be perfect and that's a pretty amazing feat better than spending 30 seconds and never improving at all okay you gotta look at it that way in the time way another way to look at it is uh it's all perspective stuff right another way to look at it is um what was the other way damn i forgot i think that covers it though so um time spent strategy okay so strategies are chunking and slowing down and also dropping key as well and time spent oh yeah the reps so another way to think of time is through reps so you could be like i'm going to spend five minutes on that but what does that actually mean five minutes might mean you spend about 30 reps until you get it right so that could be two or three minutes 30 reps of like maybe getting corrected by the teacher or listening to it on amazing slowdown and then fixing yourself against it like listening to it fixing yourself so you're making mistakes still so those like takes about maybe five to like 30 reps until you actually just get it right like get it correct once and then you do reps once you've got it correct then you do reps to make it solid man it's shitting me it's not focusing then maybe there's like a bird in a tree or something that it's focusing on weird and then you'll do reps to make it solid so once you've got it right then you want to sort of repeat that right thing a lot of times so then that could be another 30 reps or so or 10 reps and that would be that might take five minutes okay so when i say five minutes what's important is not just five minutes like five minutes of time but what you're actually doing in that time are you doing enough reps you might really need to do between five and 50 reps on a phrase before it starts to feel comfortable and you feel like you've made a bit of progress okay and then you repeat that again later because you might forget it when you come back to it the next day so that's okay that's normal um, what really happens is you forget part of it okay or you might forget all of it but then you just need a refresher but then it's easier you don't have to spend five minutes to get it again it just takes you 30 seconds of refreshment and then you can continue working on it and then you'll find you'll be ready to work on the next thing or you can work on the speed of making it go faster all right guys so um please be persistent don't give up uh too early use strategy chunking slowing down dropping the key gradually speed up don't rush the process spend enough time at least five minutes on a phrase at least sorry one to five minutes on a phrase because some phrases you don't need to spend as long on everyone's at a different level so like easier phrases take less time easier depends on your current level so as well okay so one to five minutes on a phrase maybe more sometimes up to 10 minutes if you're doing a really long phrase with more notes um, and reps like in that one to five one to ten minutes are you doing enough reps are you doing how many reps does it take to get it right and then once you get to get it right and then once you get it right are you putting in enough reps to solidify it once you get it right are you just stopping oh, okay i got it once and then stopping no you haven't got it yet you've got it the first time well done you're up to that stage you've done your 20 30 reps that have mistakes in them but now you've got your first correct rep now you've got to do another 5 to 50 reps or so to make it really solid and really comfortable to really let it sink in train the muscle memory so that it's remembering the correct thing train your brain so that it remembers the correct thing and so you don't keep going back to the mistakes okay so a few ways to think of things don't give up too early be persistent be consistent consistent that means train regularly some kind of regular basis you might just train one hour a week that's fine you might train one hour one session a week you might just do one lesson with me for 40 minutes a week and that's your training you don't even practice at home that's totally fine you will make progress it's up to you the speed of your progress will be determined by how often you practice okay and there's a limit you can't over practice because you hurt your voice get too tired and you can't really practice too little you will make progress no matter how little you practice it just takes longer okay so if you could do five minutes a day in a week that's about an hour you can do 20 minutes a day three times a week that's an hour you can do 20 minutes a day every day that's about two hours okay something like that so it's totally up to you how you do it 
you can do sometimes I'll do between five minutes and 45 minutes I probably average around minimum a half hour a day I probably average around of practice not just singing songs from beginning to end practice where I break stuff down where I'm chunking stuff where I'm that's what I mean by practice I do a minimum of that half an hour a day do I sing songs outside of that maybe maybe for 10 minutes 15 minutes I might sing two or three songs but not always because my focus is on the chunking so that when I want to sing songs which I might do a couple times a week I might want to sing one song and just kill it go hard out I might want to some days I might want to sing a bunch of songs in a row but I don't count that as my main practice because to me that's just performing it's not practicing and it's, it's very different than getting getting better you want to get better as a performer you have to work on your skills which is through your practice which is breaking stuff down and then you want to work on your your actual performance you then you do your performance so there's a time to practice your performance so if you have a if you want to perform like three songs or something straight for for friends or for yourself for the camera or whatever you can practice like that just by performing but then there's a time when you want to break stuff down so that your performances get better over time if you just keep practicing your performances they might not get better over time they might just hit a plateau because you have to work on skills as well all right guys i'm rashid hayek rmb singlessons.com hope to catch you guys in a lesson hope this lesson helped you be persistent consistent don't quit keep trying bye